Yo, 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 barefoot track. And very recently, guys, you would have had a little snippet here from Pocket Rocket. You know, Shelly Ann Fraser Price. The since the final of the 100 meters at the National Senior Championships on June 28th. And I must say, I'm excited for a lot of things. Um. I'm excited for a lot of things. For sure, she actually looks really, really good. I was actually really surprised by this little snippet here. She actually looks very, very good. Um, she actually looks really strong. Uh, Jamaican TV, I, I just took it. I took a couple of shots. My apologies, but I was doing some commentary. But I mean, she looks good, guys. She looks, she looks hungry. She looks fast. She looks fit. Um, I was a little worried before on the performances of the Jamaicans because we had, we had a, we had a rapid succession of just incidents that was playing out. For we had Elaine, you know, with the injury. Then we had Sharika Jackson. Like something was going on there, and then. There wasn't a lot going on in terms of conversation about um, Fraser Price. Bro, we know Fraser Price is not, um, she's not the strongest tool in the shed anymore. We all know how far the time works. Um, what I would say though is that a great narrative to close in this story would be that she started I believe in 2008, I believe it was 2008, was it? No, I think it was, yeah, it was 2008. She started in 2008, anybody could correct me there. She started in 2008, she made her way on the international scene, she stamped her authority, she, I think she ran a 10.78 or 10.79, and she became an Olympic gold medalist. Then she, the next Olympics after that, she would have retained her crown, um and Shelly has just had an amazing career guys this amazing career and just for her to be doing this from since 2008 this is 2024 for her to have this longevity guys just to even see her performing and even running like this I mean, come on, guys, right? Um, so I the story that I would love, I would love her to end her career with an Olympic gold medal. I know it's going to be difficult this time around because we have the likes of Shakari Richardson, we have the likes of Julia Alfred, we have we have some athletes, even the same. Uh, Sharika Jackson, who on the team, my team with Sharika is that Sharika is just not, I don't know how consistent, like some like, like Sharika is more like what you get on the day, and on the day it could be, it could be really good, on the day it could be just there, and it's like, that dominance, and you know, it's like, hey, you know what I mean, so, then we got, um, we got Talu, um, Dina Asher Smith out the conversation, Soboda out the conversation. Um, it's uh, right now, it's just Shakari, Sharika, uh, Thompson, Hera, Julia, Alfred, maybe Talu, maybe, maybe Talu, maybe Talu. Um, but I don't see anybody, you know, unless unless health, you know, creates an issue where there's just something that isn't going to hold up. I don't, I, I literally don't see why um, Shakari Richardson, you know, wouldn't get this gold medal. I literally can't see why not. I, Julia Alfred ran a 10.79 earlier this year. Right, but how consistent? How consistent? Shakari on the day, how consistent? Sharika on the day, how consistent? 
Shalian has always been at this level. So maybe in my opinion we may have we may have an upset. We may have an upset, guys. We may, we may, we may. Alright, but Elaine is out not sure about Sharika Jackson because of her last injury. She claimed it was a cramp, but we can see. Um but I do I even if Shelly was to medal, you know, Shelly medals no, it would still be a good close to her career. She's just that girl. She's just that woman, straight up. You know, and her performances over the years, you know, she has literally done everything that I believe she wanted to do in track. I think probably the last thing she wanted to do was to probably break the Olympic record. That record, you know, which is controversial. That's a whole conversation for another time. But, you know, I, I look forward to, you know, seeing her run on the day. I don't know, the 2nd of August. The 2nd of August, bro, the 2nd of August has been for a lot of track events on the start. Let's carry it. Anyhow, guys, that's my two cents. Barefoot track. What are your thoughts? Do you think Shelly still has it in there to win? Do you think Shikari, you know, is poised to actually become the new Olympic champion? Do you think Julia Alvarez is going to upset everything? What do you think? What are your thoughts, guys? Do you think Sharika Jackson is going to be... You, you know, you would love to see that changing of the guard, right? Because you because we had, we had Veronica Campbell. Okay? And then we move from Veronica Campbell to um, Shalian Fraser Price. Then we had Elaine Thompson. So it's almost like this change, you know. And it is is the gold medal going to end up in Jamaica? That's what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, this my two cents, guys. So much to look forward to. Yeah. Okay.